We've seen them chase down the bad guys and face uh, some of the most dangerous criminals on our streets. And when they're not doing that, police canines often act as animal ambassadors for their departments. The friendly face kids and adults alike want to say hi. Tonight, ABC 15's Faith Fredericks introduces us to Tarzan, a tough guy who occasionally likes to show off his softer side. <laughs> it's like an episode of When Animals Attack, the good guy edition. With a bite force of nearly 200 pounds per square inch, these police canines are nothing to mess with. Even in a thick bite suit. Over the weekend, 70 of the best police dogs from around Arizona competed for the title of Top Dog at the 16th annual Desert Dog Regional Police Canine Trials in Mesa, where huge takedowns had the crowd roaring. But when the dust settled, there could only be one top tough dog. Canine Tarzan. Yes. Tarzan, this very same police dog who just weeks earlier broke the internet with his puppy loving look at his partner and handler, Deputy Charles Gellickers. I've had a few people actually ask me, is that is that the same dog or did you switch the dog out? No, it's it's the same one. It's the same dog. He uh he just he he can turn it on and off like a switch uh, whenever he wants to. <laughs> He'll do anything he can to uh, get that bite. That's his favorite thing to do is, uh, is biting. The pair train together and live together because they can be called into action 24-7 for high-risk deployments. I'm with him more than my own family. Which may explain that loving look and fierce loyalty you don't ever want to be on the wrong side of. Oh. Faye Fredericks, ABC 15, Arizona. Just loves that bite, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sweet boy. Yeah, I'm glad the bad guys don't like it, right? Yeah. Because uh, police dogs often have such a close bond with their human partners, if you see one out and about, always ask to make sure it's okay to approach. After all, they are trained to protect. Mm -hmm. All right, Gaz.